To start this project, you're going to need some dollar store solar lights. You'll also need some plastic bowls, and I chose them in a variety of colors. And you're also going to need some dollar store vases. And again, I chose all of these in a variety of colors. So the first thing we're gonna do is flip the bowl upside down and we need to remove the label. Now some labels are easier to remove than others, but you want to just peel the label off because this side needs to be clear for this project. Next, I'm gonna focus on the solar light. So um, you don't have to worry about removing these labels. We're gonna be pulling this apart. So we just take the stem off. We're not even gonna need that. And then when you're inside here, you, ne you need to open up the solar light and pull out the tag so that the solar light works. Then you can place that back on and this part is ready to be used. So this will be the base of our project. And you could leave it plain, but I want it to have a little weight in it so that it won't blow over in the wind because this project will be going outside, but you could make it for inside as well. What I'll be using for this project for weight are these dollar store rocks. So I'm gonna be placing them inside. For the next step, I'm gonna place the solar light in top like this. So if you want, you can add some more rocks. You just wanna see how much you want and you need to leave room for that solar light to go into this face. So I'll go ahead and add a few more rocks to this and then we're gonna talk a little bit more about this solar light. So depending upon where you wanna put this, you could put a little adhesive down here on the bottom and then have it stay in place. So most of the time, this is pretty stable. This is not gonna move and I want the ability to change this solar light out if this solar light dies. So we're gonna talk about our next step, which is the top. Now, depending upon where you're gonna be putting this project, you could use some hot glue, but hot glue does not stay long in hot and cold temperature fluctuation. It might be great for a temporary hold though. You could use a permanent glue like E6000 or some super tight or super glue um, or this super glue here. This one comes from the dollar store even, you can grab this. And these are more permanent. So once you do something like these steps here, that solar light's going to be attached to the next step. So what I'm gonna do is add a little dab of hot glue on each corner, like so. And next, I'm gonna take that bowl and flip it upside down and place it right there on top so it's centered. So just to show you, if I remove this out, you can see that the solar light is in here. And in fact, this one actually isn't on correctly. So let me get that on there. But you can see here, I would be able to pull this off and replace this easily with another dollar store solar light if this burns out at some point. Here they are in my dish flower garden and I'm thrilled with how they turned out. Project, you're going to need a mason jar recycled jar and a solar light lid of your choice. So I've went ahead and cleaned the jar and then we're going to talk about this piece for a second. So this is a solar light that goes on to a mason jar recycled jar, has some fairy lights in it and lights up. We'll be separating these out in the next step. Now one thing you could do really easily is put the lights right into the mason jar and for those of you who grew up where there are fireflies or lightning bugs, you've got yourself a really simple firefly jar that will light up at night. But we're gonna talk about another way to do something with these. When I think of summer, I think about going to the beach. So I'm just gonna take a little white sand and place it into the jar at the bottom like this. And then once I get a fair amount here, I'm gonna add some more items. I'm just gonna go ahead and set these fairy lights part way in to the jar. Next, I'm just gonna go ahead and add some sea glass pieces to the jar. And I'm gonna go ahead and add 
some shells to the jar as well. So it's all filled up with the shells and the sea glass. And this is actually a collection of stuff we've picked up at the beach and the lake. So a great way to use those items. And I'm just gonna put the rest of the fairy lights in, place the lid on top and screw it into place. So for this next jar, I'm going to add well, we call them helicopters growing up, but they were seedlings from trees that fall in. So I'm gonna put some of those in the bottom. Then next I'm gonna add the pine cone. I'm gonna stick some of my lights in there now. So I got some lights in there. I'm gonna put some acorns in there as well. So let's get some of those lights in there. And then I'm gonna keep creating the layers of the helicopters seedlings. And then I'm going to place the rest of the lights around that top pine cone and place the lid on. And then again, you can see here, it's got that nice collection. It's going to light up at night. And this is my fall jar. So again, just changing out what's inside and adding those lights and you've got a fall decor. So we've got summer and fall. So next let's work on winter. So for this project, I'm going to pour in a little Pledge Floor Care Cleaner. Next, I'm gonna spin the jar around so that it coats the whole jar inside. And then as I get to the top, I'm going to make sure it pours back into the container. Next, I'm gonna take some white glitter. I'm gonna pour it into the jar and you can use quite a bit because you're gonna be putting it back in the jar. Actually, I'm gonna set that like that. And we're just gonna spin the jar around so that it coats the whole jar. Isn't that fun? And when we get towards the top, I'm gonna bring my glitter back. And just like before, we're gonna dump the glitter back into the jar. Now that it's completely dry, you could leave it like this and it would be like a snowball. Just add the fairy lights inside or use a permanent marker or acrylic paint that's safe for glass and draw on eyes and a mouth and then use your orange marker to draw on a carrot nose. Now, if you're using marker, you're going to want to go back over it after this dries and then add some dishwasher safe Mod Podge if you're gonna be placing it outside. Now I take my fairy lights and I place them inside and place the lid on top and then it will light up outside as well. And now we're on our last season. So I've got my last jar. I'm going to place the fairy lights into the jar. Now, if you wanted to, you could make bunnies and chicks out of this, kind of like I did with the snowman, or I'm a big fan of lilacs. So I grabbed some faux lilacs. You could also use real ones if they are in bloom and any real flowers, but I'm just gonna go ahead and stuff them around the lights in the jar for the lid on top. And then of course they'll light up as well. So let's take a look at all of our seasons in a jar. Here's a quick look at them before we take them outside and see what they look like when they glow. So as you can see, there are endless possibilities with this concept. You could put leaves in the fall, you could change it up and put flags in for summer, you could use real leaves or faux eggs for spring. You can also change up your winter one as well. So I'm gonna be placing these along my walkway to my front door. And again, you could make as many of these as you want for a season and then change them up. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them outside and let's check out what they look like all lit up. Now I bring them outside and place them near my walkway. I hope this inspires you to make some solar lights that are seasonal for your home. Again, I'm Chas from Chas's Crazy Creations. Thanks for watching Home Talk, and I'll see you next time.